present the Sydney Frank Award and introduce this year's winner, I'd like to welcome to the stage the CEO of the Sydney Frank Importing Company, a subsidiary, subsidiary excuse me, of Mast Jägermeister. Jeff Popkin joined this landmark industry brand builder in December after a long career, including a stint at Vita Coco, Red Bull Distribution, and earlier as president of the Western US for Coors Brewing Company. Please welcome to the stage, Jeff Popkin. All right. There we go. Thank you, Craig. What an absolute pleasure to be here at my first ever WSWA general session. I'm thrilled to be here. It's no secret that Sydney Frank Import Company was purchased by Mass Jägermeister this past summer. It's a good thing for me. I wouldn't be standing here if that hadn't occurred. Mass Jägermeister owns the world's number eight brand in the world, Jägermeister. What a great brand, what amazing bones the Jägermeister brand has. Now, I don't need to tell you guys in this audience about the legend of Sidney Frank. The legend of Sidney Frank, I will tell you in my four months running the Sidney Frank Import Company, not only have I met some amazing people, but I've heard some pretty killer stories, I can tell you. And, I can, and last night even, as recently as last night, I can tell by the smiles on your faces, amazing stories. This guy was bigger than life, truly, and I'm from Texas, go big or go home. But I can also say that Sydney had the courage, and that's really, you know, when you think about innovation, it's the courage to innovate, the courage to fail. So no one else would dare come up with cold equipment until Sydney Frank came up with cold equipment. Think about how brands are built and how the mind of Sydney Frank truly created the success of the Eggermeister brand as well as other brands that will go unnamed. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't stop there. He gave so generously to employees. And I can tell you, in the four months that I've been at Sydney Frank, it's amazing to hear the generosity that was Sydney Frank and to hear how he never stopped. He had no off button. So, and honestly, it's been inspiring to me. You know, as I look at the four months here, as I walk the halls of New Rochelle and, uh, you know, it meet the team, not only at Sydney Frank, but the distributor team that I haven't met all of you yet. But it's an amazing and inspiring story. So I'm not here today as the CEO of Sydney Frank Import Company. I'm here representing almost 200 employees of Sydney Frank Import Company and almost 1,000 employees of Mass Jägermeister globally. Because I can tell you, everyone, as that's the headquarters in Wolfenbüttel, Germany, everyone all the way through Sydney Frank, feels connected to the legend that was Sidney Frank, emotionally and powerfully connected. So, Tito's sitting right down here in the front, so I'm, gonna, I'm looking at you. I'm not reading this. <laughs> the Sidney Frank Award is given each year by the WSWA Educational Foundation to a person who's made exceptional contributions to the beverage industry, in addition to philanthropic and community service contributions, big contributions, intellectually and financially. This award was created in partnership between WSWA Educational Foundation and the Sidney Frank Import Company. Sidney Frank was an innovator, a brand builder, truly, who set the standard for achieving commercial success and matching that success with the same passion that he would build brands, matching that success with giving back to the community. It's well documented, Sidney Frank's legend of giving back. Today's winner of the Sidney Frank Innovation Award hails from San Antonio, Texas. Graduated from the University of Texas, and most importantly, he was a man of passion. I'm, it's gonna, if you look at how Tito was successful, it was his passion to, to craft vodka. I read these stories, and I uh, researched extensively online, so I wasn't stalking you, I was researching it, and really you know, uh, got an amazing respect for the passion for what he does, because he, he wasn't successful right out of the gate. He was passionate, and he got it done. He, he began the commercial production of Tito's handmade vodka in 1997. In 2001, the product won coveted double gold medal at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. And we all know the rest of the story from there. What a powerful brand. What amazing positioning and liquid quality. Uh, much like Sydney. Tito has gone on to demonstrate world-class brand-building talents. World-class. The rest of the story about what Tito 
it does is outside the business. From day one, Tito has been involved in philanthropic efforts locally and nationally. He, don he donates his time and product more than 4,000 charity events each year in addition to other philanthropic charities. Tito is donating today's proceeds from the, from the Sidney Frank Ward to CORE, Children of Restaurant Employees. Great, great charity. Many of you are involved with this charity. It's raised over a million and a half dollars since inception in 2004. So on behalf of the 160 employees at Sidney Frank Import Company and almost 1,000 globally of Mass Jägermeister, it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage Mr. Tito Beveridge. ship that to you. Of course. Well, wow, that's really cool. Uh, so those of you that have been with WSWA for a long time know that when I started coming to this thing back, I think my first one was in San Francisco, so I think that was the 98 or something like that, that I would take half pints of Tito's and I'd put my business card taped on the back, and I could put 14 in my jacket and my pants, and I'd walk around and read name tags and go, oh, shit, South Carolina, I'm not there yet. Hey, I'm Tito, and I'd like give him a half pint. <clears throat> so uh, it's funny to be accepting a philanthropic award because I feel like I started off here at WSWA as a charity event. <clears throat> and uh, thankfully, some of you guys took me on. Um, I'd like to thank my wife, I brought the boss this year, so uh, if anybody ever wanted to know who's behind Tito's Handmade Vodka, <laughs> my wife Lori is, uh, is the boss. Uh, my team, you know, I, I had this vision of, uh, of if I got to the point where, you know, I, I had enough money to, to give back to the community that, uh, that I would do that, and it's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've met a lot of people. <clears throat> Had the opportunity to, to change some lives. And uh, it's really cool when you take something like alcohol, tobacco, or firearms, and you end up doing something that involves a lot of love and goodness and wellness. And uh, I just have to say that this industry is just by far the greatest way to spend your life in the hospitality industry. I've made more friends, had more fun, made a ton of bread, uh, <laughs> I drank a shitload of vodka, <clears throat> and, uh, and I'd like to just thank everybody out here for all your philanthropic uh, activities that you do. Last year, I, I, in my meetings here at WSWA, and I actually have a suite now, so I'm not at the, uh, in the snake pit at, or the exhibit hall at a table anymore, I actually have my own suite. But uh, last year, I, I was telling, I, telling all, uh, all my partners, and, and by the way, philanthropy, to me, starts with a wholesaler. So, you know, 23 points net, huh? Can we get a, get a, hand, a round of applause for that, you know? Um, but, uh, but last year, I was telling all my partners that I wanted to really ramp up the philanthropy part and hopefully make it where it's, you know, part of my, you know, really my main marketing thing at, at Tito's Handmade Vodka. Um, I think we're, uh, we're on track to do that, and uh, it's been a great, great ride. Uh, last thing I want to say is when I came to WSWA, I actually uh, wanted to see how the big boys did it, and I went up to Sidney Frank's suite back before he had Goose and uh, had all the Jaegerettes up there, and I swear to God, I think that he was in a bathrobe, <laughs> and... It, like, like Hugh Hefner or something, walking around with like slippers and a bathrobe. And, and I think he had a bow tie and a bathrobe, which was kind of weird. But, uh, but what a great guy and a great character and, and uh, stuff like that, just what, what makes this industry fun. Um, thank you all very much for this award, WSWA. Love you guys. Um, thanks for what you do. It's, uh, it's been you know, the, the backbone and the core of, of my success is partnership with all you guys. Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat>